All right, thank you very much for the wonderful introduction. I appreciate it. Today, we're here to talk about something very dear to my heart. Uh, coaching, specifically executive coaching. Does a CEO really need it? And that's the question for the day. Well, let me get the clicker. But before we go there, let me do a quick uh, introduction. Yeah, That's my name. That sounds like a very good Filipino name, doesn't it? Does anybody know what it means? Bjorn? No? No? Anybody? No? Where does that name come from? Swedish, yeah, very good. It's a Scandinavian name. Specifically popular in Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. But it's also very popular in, surprisingly, in the Philippines. I know like five different Bjorns here in the Philippines. Yeah. And I probably don't even know all of them. And I really enjoy the, the Filipino, uh, the, the creativity around pronouncing my name. Yeah, and so there's a lot of creativity, right, from, from sound, making it sound like a mustard, like Bijan, yeah, to Bajorn, or a Bihorn, or Bohorn. But the worst one is still the Bihorny. Yeah, that's the worst. <laughs> Yeah. Martinov is a German-Russian name. It's a mix between German and Russian. It's a Russian name with a German spelling. Because our family lived in Lithuania for many uh, centuries. Yeah. But we're all over the place. So I'm a global CEO coach. What does that mean? I work with CEOs around the globe, but also CEOs that run global organizations, yeah, such as Unilever and Nestle and so forth. Yeah. This is my company name. We started with a website in 2004, fortune100coach.com. This is kind of a brief history. I'm not going to bore you with the details. Then what if rapid transformation was really possible in an organization? What would that look like? You know, what if you could take a dull team? Like here, who's this? President? Putin, right? He hasn't been so dull lately though, right? <laughs> It's been quite exciting lately, you know, maybe more exciting than the American president. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm an American citizen, though, I can say that. Uh, and make it more exciting, enthusiastic, and hyper effective. You know? These are some of my clients around the world. Yeah, we work with Unilever in 11 countries, Nestle in 6 countries, and um, Citibank in 13 countries. Then I uh, work with these clients in the pharma industry and the BPO industry. Yeah, so those are uh, clients. There's a, where am I aiming? Oh, okay, here. Uh, these are the client list. And then we also work with um, charities. My favorite one is on the top, Silida Alan. It's a, a local charity serving um, underprivileged children. This is in Rizal. We started eight years ago with a single classroom. And we now have 25 classrooms. We support them. I was part of the founding board, but now we just support them financially. And, and uh, what does Silid Arlan do? We help these children in after-school programs. Those children who don't even have enough money for pencils and paper. Yeah, and we teach them in a very experiential uh, teaching technology, which helps them catch up with their grades. Within one year, they're usually from the last 10% in the first 10%. And then we also help the parents start small businesses which we finance, like micro loans, 4,000, 5,000 pesos, uh, which they then repay. So it becomes sustainable. So here's this, most effective versus most popular. What coaching is uh, top in the top three most effective interventions you know, in, in the development world. You know? Just a quick, and then to introduce myself further, I wrote this book, I actually wrote three books. But this is the first one. It's called Develop Exponential Power. Yeah, and it's for sale outside. But why?